Shalom, Aki. Nuni Vah, praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Raka Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of GMS for teaching real well. And salutations to all the Aki, all four corners of earth, who's pushing his truth and sincerity. Shalom, Aki. Shalom. Um, you know what? Let me kick it off with this one quick scripture right quick, because um, we're going to get straight to the point. Um, this is the book of Matthews, Matthew 6 and 19. It says, lay not up yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust doth corrupt and where thieves break through and steal, but lay up your treasure, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal for where your heart, for where treasure. Salaki, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. And uh, go ahead, brother. No, because this 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 place uh tells you the op the complete opposite of the description, man. It tells you to go ahead and store your stuff here, you know, to build up here, you know, they got that prosperity. When you go to uh to the, what is today Sunday, right? They're gonna be going to churches. So they'll be hearing Reverend Pig feet telling them about uh we gotta build here, we gotta continue building. When you come donate a little bit more more, more money, we're gonna continue building, man. And prosperity doctrine is telling you to build here. Yeah, because the is, better his congregation build, the better his church look. Time. And as well as, you know what I'm saying, it says that, you know what I'm saying, thieves will come and take that money that these people are building up. Thieves come and take these these, these worldly gifts. And, and who's there. that thief? Esau eat them. Mm -hmm. Esau taxing you. Esau got you um, not preaching the truth. Esau is in control of what you say. Mm -hmm. Really, the, our people have no power in this society, especially when you bow down to this. It says the root... Give me that one. The root of money is the love of money is the root of all evil. Oh, I was like, yeah, it's First Timothy six and ten. Uh, First Timothy six and ten. Uh, for the love of money is the root of all evil. For what? For the love of money is the root of all evil. Yeah, you love money so much, you done did things you never thought you would do in your in your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you um, you done got desperate. Kind. They um, you you'll have a man turn to a woman, a woman turn to a man, and transform over that dollar. They'll do all sorts of um, undeedly acts just to get that money, man. They'll do whatever it takes, man, to get They'll that dollar. They'll put on a dress. They'll kill their own mama over a to get that dollar, man. To get that we, dollar. We, we, and we're not speaking our ass. I got a story in Chicago where a man, a dude killed his mama who was a hairdresser. You know what I'm saying? She had a, what was that, $100,000, a million dollar policy on her. Mm -hmm. And he went on ahead and offed her over that mm -hmm. and got that money and, and made a rap video and something. And then it's... Uh, uh, a week, two days, probably not even a week later, two days later, they arrested him and his homie who did that shit. Yeah. His own mama, man. Uh-huh. His all mama gave him everything, man. All type of stories. Um, yeah, you go on and on. Brothers killing brothers. We yeah. see all seen paid in full. Over the, money. The, uh, Sonny killed uh, his, his little nephew, right? Yeah, exactly. Over some dollars, Over man. Over some dollars. <laughs> we go on and on, man. Yeah. This is the root of all. Uh, first Timothy 6 and 10, man. Well, because what comes in with the money? Um, Jealousy. Envy. Mm -hmm. um, you got hatred. A covetousness. You're Coven covenant after, yeah. that, after that man right there, man. Exactly. You want what that man has. You desire to have his goods. You desire to be him instead of um, desiring his word, desiring the things that the Lord set up for us, man. See, all these things you were naming are worldly attributes, man, that our, our people love to, to, to dibble and dabble with, man. You follow LeBron James. I want to be like LeBron James. I want to have the things LeBron James. No, nah, man. Lord got us on something better than that, man. The Lord said, don't store up your treasures here on this planet, man. I got something better and greater for you, man. Mm -hmm. Those that follow this word, man. But because y'all have no faith, you know, hey, man, the, you, you, your, your lot is this, this world, man. It's wickedness, man. Pure wickedness, man. Mm -hmm. um, an idol to worship LeBron James, Michael Jordan, um, Lil Wayne. These are idols. That's idol worship, man. You know, they have their wicked lot here, man. Um Oh, like, this is uh, your brother. First Timothy six to ten. The love of money is the root of all evil, which while some a little louder over here, which while some covenant after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrow. Yeah, once you um you get riches, it's hard for you to be faithful to the heavenly Father, because your desires and your thoughts is not on the Lord. Your desires and your thoughts is on how am I going to spend this money? How am I going to better my life? How can I um get more and more because you got to keep that wealth up and money the more money you got like it says more problems um the more money you got the more things you buy the more you got to spend to keep those things up and um every near every year what is it a new car every year it's new clothes every year it's a new new this new that new this new watch so you got to keep bringing in this money man 
Now, when you can't bring it in a, in a legit a legit style no more, what you go? You, you go into the dark side. Kind of post, post, you start stuff. sacrificing family members. You start fucking um robbing, killing, selling drugs, doing all type of things. Why? For the love of money is the root of all evil. You done fell in love with money. Now your ass done been rooted in to doing wickedness, man. Because you can't make in this society being righteous, you ain't gonna make too much money. Mm-hmm. Hey, what they say? Nice guys finish mm-hmm. last yep. in the big world. Mm-hmm. Nice guys, you gotta be a cutthroat motherfucker in this society to make it, man. Mm-hmm. The Duponts, the Rothschilds, the elites, man. You think they were nice guys? And they were cutting each other's throats, man. Family going after family, man. That house was very much divided. Every one of them houses you just named was divided, man. You know what I'm saying? Whether the uncle was going after the nephew or or somehow, some way, man. It's all the, you know. These things are they played out in different shows and different, you know, they put in the movies and stuff like that, man. <laughs> and pierce themselves through with many sorrows. So what are some of those sorrows that you pierced yourself with? Some of these weird lifestyles that you have to take on while following up for this money, chasing this dollar, man. It says uh, 1 Timothy 16 11. But thou, O man of Yahweh, flee these things and follow up the righteousness. Yeah, flee the love of money, man. Flee the lust of life, the lust of flesh. The desire, you see a chick now, you're going crazy. You're ready to go do crazy things for this woman. You're ready to do anything for her to give her everything she wants. She loved money, now you love money. At first, you was a spiritual man. Now, you done became a, a carnal man. You done became a worldly man mm-hmm. through the lust of life, through the lust of your flesh, the lust of your eyes. <laughs> and guess what? It's only going to bring what your destruction. That's mm-hmm. what it all leads to when you That's read right. these scriptures. Mm-hmm. I'm, hey, let me read this right here. Right. This is James 5 and 1. It says, Go to now, ye rich men. Weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Yeah, Mr. Rich Man, mm-hmm. Mr. Rich Guy. Mr. Wealthy Man, Mr. I never lacked anything. Mm-hmm. I've always had it good in my life. And um, you, you two, you two thirds, man, who just got some money, man. You ain't rich, man. Mm-hmm. You just oh, you just got some money. You got money. You ain't got to worry about nothing. But the rich men of this society, who they Esau, who the Bible is talking about, it says, "Go to now, ye rich men, weep and howl for the miseries that shall come upon you, man." You know how these these devils gonna feel when that money don't mean nothing no more. Mm-hmm. When um they um, financial might don't mean nothing no more because that's power. Mm-hmm. Financial might is power. It's a, it's equivalent to fucking um, physical might. Well, like you I just, ain't got to fight this nigga. I'll pay this nigga off. And that's what a lot of you niggas got in the hood right now, that quick, easy money, that fast rap money that came to you, that 50, 100,000, whatever they gave to you. Like you just said, man, um, I'll pay I'll pay it, kill off my enemies. And that stuff is coming back to haunt their ass, man, a lot of these different things, man, you know? And... Um, and, uh, yeah, the main thing coming back to haunt them is that um the money is finna collapse. You guys got to prepare for something called a bank holiday. And uh, um you had in Cyprus where they went into their bank accounts. You had in um Venezuela where the dollar collapsed. You had um Zimbabwe. We could keep going in oh, yeah. um South Africa. Mm-hmm. A different um South um, South um what was that South Africa um Venezuela Time. um Chile. Um, before um, that, you go to Germany. And they don't. Germany, even, they don't like oh, to speak yeah. about that. You we can know, keep going to all these different places. Mm-hmm. And in this, these 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 different places we speak about, you can Google search and look up, and they'll show you. Uh, you can, Google actually has a list, a Why top ten know? list of uh, the, the the ones who crashed and who went the hardest. Yeah, man. you know what I mean. Pure poverty and um, mm-hmm. what comes in with that dollar crashing? Famine, mm-hmm. famine, nothing to eat, man. And these people, they, I'm talking to one dude, he said, boy, he was telling me already about poverty in his country. But he said, when that famine came, mm. a lot of people died. Mm-hmm. That's all he kept saying. So many people, everybody died. And what do we have more women out on this, on, in America? It's free. going to be a lot of dead around. women. Women and children, women. man. You know what I'm saying? Imagine, yeah. imagine that smell, man, mm-hmm. when all these dead people, man, just rotting away. Because the old going to go quick. The women and the children, they're going to be tortured. Those are the ones you're going to really hear out there screaming, man. Oh, old person, Lord, can just take the spirit away from me. Done with, you know what I mean? But a young person, man, he gonna put him through it, man. He gonna put him through it, man. And I, I, I'm not the judge, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying what it is. And the Lord might put an old person through it too. I'm just saying, giving you the vision of the things to come, man. You watch Spartacus, a motherfucker get hit with a sword, man. That nigga might be fucked up in man, in a hole alive. somewhere alive, mm-hmm. Half seven, eight, eight months, up. hurting, just fucking brain, headache like headache a motherfucker, like a motherfucker. sword to the dome with a cut gash open. Worms, fevers, all, infections, or flies, everything, eating all <laughs> that shit and everything, man. Oh, yeah. Mosquitoes Suffering. biting off your ass, man. Suffering. 
You 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 ain't got enough strength to fly 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 them off like you see them commercials yeah. in uh, Africa when they used to be on the kids and shit. You get hit with one of them Native American arrows that don't come out. Oh yeah, that or poison your ass. Locked up in your body, man. Your ass, fuck, putting poison in your ass, man. Slowly dying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, you got a little more. Yeah. Uh, First Timothy six eleven. But thou art, but thou, O man of your hour. Flee these things and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. But there's no money in righteousness. Mm-hmm. There's no money in truth. In love. In mm-hmm. love of the mm-hmm. Lord. Mm-hmm. Only, only wickedness will get you paid in this society. And yes, we, we agree with this statement. Because mm-hmm. if you're a man of the Lord, what it says, you shall be hated. Huh. Man, if you're a follower of your Mashiach, your Shai, you're going to be hated, man. Mm-hmm. You're going to be despised for what? For the knowledge and the word of this gospel. Mm-hmm. They don't want to hear this gospel. They want money. They want wealth. They want comfortability. They want peace. They want safety, man. They want operations. Huh. Oh, that's what they fighting for heavy. They say, uh, what do we always ask them? What do you want? Um, um, revenge or reparations? Mm-hmm. I want the reparations, bro. I want the reparations. Yeah. Wrong answer. <laughs> or I don't want none. Right. I'm happy. I'm you happy already. Day. Looking at this broke ass nigga mm-hmm. holding his shoe, talking about everything's okay. When I was in punk ass college, man, professor said, uh, nigga professor said that shit, man. Reparations, we're getting right now. You're in college. We get a free education. Bitch, I gotta pay for this. What are you talking about, man? That's a, that's how Coons talking think, man. You know what I'm saying? They love to uh to stay on the master's line, man. You know? Reparations. We ain't got nothing, man. Yeah, free indoctrination from Esau Eden, and that's your payment back. Motherfucker, we already been getting indoctrinated from Esau Edom since we got in this motherfucker, man. Mm-hmm. Now they want you to pay for more indoctrination. Man, pay. And, and then price goes up and up. And people, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they supposed to be trying to get these good jobs. There ain't no more jobs here in Babylon, man. You are looking at what this man is holding some called fiat currency. Other words, blood money. Because people was killing and stealing and robbing and doing whatever they can to get it, man. Yeah, because they thinking they're going to be in power one day. They're going to think they're going to be rule the world. <laughs> I, I got power. I, I'm special. You know, man, I take care of the hood, man. You know what I'm saying? I came back and I had to take care of my hood. Man, fuck you in that hood, man. That rat-infested, roach-infested, murderous-ass hood, man. Your hood people go against the other hood over there. Y'all don't come together for goodness. Y'all come together for fucking evil, man. Mm-hmm. Hey, what, if you ain't coming in the name of your how about you, you ain't huh? talking about a motherfucking thing. Huh? Man. You ain't talking about a damn thing. Back you up, it's 1 Timothy 6 and 12. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. And that's what we're speaking about, man. That's that good fight, man. Um, Wherein two that are also called and has professed a good profession before many witnesses, man. You know? Yeah, and um, we got to profess this truth. Kind. And that's why more and more brothers is being sealed. More and more of the elect is being awakened. And they're saying, funk this world and everything in it. Mm-hmm. Conform not yourself to this world like the scriptures tell you. Matter of fact, bear with me right quick, brother, because right. um, Jake is stuck on stuck in this society. Stuck on full Go ahead, brother. Uh, Proverbs 14 and 20. Yes, sir. The poor is hated even of his own neighbor, but the rich have many friends. Read that again, my brother. Uh, Proverbs 14 and 20. The poor is hated even of his own neighbor, but the rich have many friends. Yeah, who's the poor, man? The upright in spirit. The Israelites. Because um, as a nation, we are hated. That's why they don't even tell you who you are as a people. Oh, man, that's just some blacks. The fuck is a blacks? Oh, that's just some Mexi- Mexicans, his Hispanics. Mm-hmm. Um, what's another Latino. name? Latinos. Thank you, brother. Oh my God, Latinos, Latinos. Hispanics, his, Hispanics, mm-hmm. Latin Native of America, mm-hmm. Native Americans. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he was a native here. He's an African American. He's, he's an African Amer- a Afro American. He's a Negro. He's a bald head American. <laughs> Sideburn American. <laughs> He's a failure American. Oh <laughs> a nigger American. Man. We keep going all day, man. It's like you done became a what? A byword in this motherfucker. No identity whatsoever. That's that's a sign of no respect. When the motherfucker come in the room and they say hello to everybody else and that's you, man. This nigga, he black, he nothing. We don't even see him. That's how we're being treated right now, man. Mm-hmm. Read that again, I. All right. Proverbs 14 and 20, the poor is hated even of his own neighbor, but the rich have many friends. But these poor motherfuckers want to love everybody. Mm-hmm. Like the brother just said, these poor ass niggas want to revenge or reparations. 
Oh, brother, we got to forgive, brother. Mm-hmm. We got to let it go, brother. Mm-hmm. That's all that's only mine, huh? <laughs> that was in the past, brother. Mm-hmm. Why are you still holding on to that, brother? You got so much anger in your heart. Don't bother to tell you love. Don't tell you love your enemy. That's the devil in you, brother. Mm-hmm. You ain't my brother, nigga. What Bible you read? What church you go to? The Bible you you got in the crib that child never opened up. <laughs> Keep going. All right. Um, Proverbs 14, 21. He despised his neighbor's sin, but he that have mercy on the poor are happy is he. Do they not err that devise evil? The mercy and truth. Do they not err that devise evil? Read that again. Huh. Proverbs 14 and 20. Do they not err the devise evil? The mercy and truth shall be to them that devise good. That devise good. And what's that good? This, this good gospel that we're pushing to our people, man. Stop chasing money. Stop chasing these hoes. Stop, stop chasing this life. Because this life is really over, man. Mm-hmm. There's nothing left. At least it's death, man. Yeah. Shalom. Shalom.